Hello, my dear viewers. Welcome to today's reading. This reading is for all Sagittarians. It's your money reading, Sagittarius, your finance, your work, career related, but most of all, all about your money and finance. And it's happening. This is all for January and February, both months together. Let's see what's happening. What is going to impact you for January, February 2023? For all Sagittarians, welcome all my dear viewers. Let's have a look at the biggest impact. Before I do that, I just wanted to make sure that you are aware at the end of this reading, there will be lucky numbers given to you that I um, usually get in meditation and they had stopped and now again um, they are being given for January 2023 and I will be at January not February for January and all the way you can use them with the December 2021 and the January 2022 which are in the community section of this channel but today's will be given to you right at the end and at the end of February I'll be putting them all up in the community section for all of you to find lucky numbers for you to play either lotto or use them in any way you like and um, they are numbers guided and given by your guiding angels okay my dear viewers um remember always what i advise is always to play five to ten dollars but play continuously every month because consistency is everything when you see wealth coming in your life money and always remember to play the bare minimum and the continuous like if it's every month every month every three weeks so it doesn't affect your budget and it's five ten dollars no more and always remember um, to do that with wisdom and when you are given the numbers if there are nine numbers and you have to play seven you always use your discernment the best uh, and and you know breathe and silently and choose the numbers that are going to work well for you and um, this is my advice always you can toss this away and do whatever you feel it's right but it's up to me my duty to deliver to you what i am always given in meditation all right my dear viewers now that i've got that out of the way at the end of the reading you'll get the numbers lucky numbers for sagittarians for january 2023 now let's have a look at your money reading and see what are the major impacts that will impact all sagittarians january and um february 2023 let's have a look you're leaving something you're leaving a situation in regret, not happy. You're not happy where you are, so you're leaving. I'm going to clarify all the cards so we can work out what's going on. There is something that's happening too much of, uh, maybe there's too much controlling, somebody controlling, or you're feeling uh, at the mercy of situations. Maybe that's why you're leaving. But this is a matter that you are going to heal from within a few, maybe within six weeks' time, it's going to come to a healing. Let's have a look and see further what happens. You are taking time out. With the Four of Swords, it shows you need to take care of your health you need to take time out and heal and look at situations and um, see your life where you are where you where you want to be and be able to do, go through all that but um the 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 four of swords a lot about healing and um, taking care of your health maintaining your health is another one i am going to clarify to see exactly what it's all about Let's have a look at further. There's, there is something that's been overwhelming you. It's so much that it's going to come to an end very soon and you are going to get a lot of rewards. But in the meantime, there's one challenge that is going to be a bit hard to, to, to deal with, but you are going to be given the strength, I feel, with the universe. And I'm going to clarify that to, to, to tell you that, to show you that, uh, that you will be um, overcoming this obstacle without any problems. Okay, so let's see further. Yes, there is a new beginning of prosperity, a new project that's going to be doing wonders and bring you wonders, a lot of prosperity and a lot of um, luck and happiness coming your way. You are going to establish yourself in a new job, perhaps, or a new career. Something new is starting and it's going to be spectacular or your own business, but it's going to thrive with the Ace of Pentacles and a lot of money and profits are distant here. Let's have a look further. One more card. And it says you might be relocating. Some of you could be re like relocating because of this project. This could be the reason of your relocation. Some of you could be traveling. Some of you, this is affecting your foundation of where you are, either your work or your home. I feel like this new start is going to um, perhaps, you know, uh, move you to another level, to another area. Uh, relocation is here. And the two of wands is always not only relocation, but it is, um, you know, you will be reaching heights in your life and in your money life especially and doing well in this incredible project that's going to bring you abundance what you don't see coming there will be a proposal a proposal 
or proposition. Um, you are going to be sort of really looking into this and thinking as to what the best course of action is, but you are going to take action in regard this. This is what's coming. What you don't also see is another amazing card, which is to do with your wish being granted. Your guiding angels are watching over you. They are going to help you get exactly what you want, especially, especially one wish that you've always wanted, that you have been sort of uh, dreaming about this wish is going to be granted and and with that wish comes a lot of desires are going to be achieved also the wish might look into that for you i feel like there's going to be stability and happiness in your life brought on by your guiding angels you are going to feel favored and over overwhelmed with what's happening uh, this proposition could be also uh, the one that one you can't refuse and it might help you relocate some of you could be buying property. That is a possibility with Ace of Pentacles also. Um, now, what I'm going to do is find out what the Sacred Forest wants to tell all Sagittarians for January, February. What is this one message? You are transcending. You, the Pegasus is an incredible, uh, me, me, not mythical, but magical uh, horse. All the angels used to use it in the olden days. Transcending to a better level of life um, in your partnerships, in your life, money, business, it's all career. You're transcending, you're moving high up. And perhaps that has been your wish for those of you who've been wait, waiting and wanting to um, to transcend to a better level. Well, you've got the spirit of Pegasus uplifting you to heavens. And I feel like having one of your wishes to be um, completed by your guiding angels is going to also contribute towards this height, this elevation in your life, this... Uh, transcending to you know higher levels of life so prepare for this this is going to be spectacular okay and now um, i'm going to find out one more thing your guiding angels message for january february regarding your money sagittarius your finance your work your career what is one message that is going to help you understand where you are or that you need to know and there it is wow it says within the next few months within the next few months it looks like to me you are going to have a majestic life a euphoria kind of a life uh, the transcension is together with that and then you've got your wish come true and it says maybe within the next few months your wish is going to come true remember that your wish might be coming true within um, the next few months that's the message message for you from your guiding angels so we got the star, we got transcending with Pegasus, and we got within the next few months. Now I'm going to start looking at all the cards and seeing how, what are the energies and what are they trying to tell you. So let's have a look at this Eight of Cups, leaving with regret. What is it that you're leaving with regret and causing you emotional unhappiness? Perhaps it is someone from the past. You are going to need the strength to move forward, and you are. There's someone of Earth energy that's going to be very supportive in this move. Um, and earth energy is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Financial freedom also is going to be another factor that's going to contribute towards this movement. I feel like you are going to be at a very high level, um, making a lot of money, being able to do help others that are in need, being able to do charities. Something from the past, I feel like, is going to be the reason that you're leaving. It could be a soulmate coming and you're going to partnership with this person uh, that might be of earth energy, Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn. Was it was it Earth? Yes, and um, and you are going to be empowered. Yes, it was the the Queen of Pentacles. So it's not about the the gender Queen, or it's just the energy. It's about Earth energy. Money, finances are going to be also the cause of you leaving a situation. Emotional unfulfillment, not happy where you are. You're leaving, and there is something from the past that you should have done some time ago. But I do feel like you are elevating to a very high level and leaving behind what no longer is working let's have a look at the devil and see how the devil is um, impacting this uh, extreme something or something that you are either doing too much or something being done too much or restrictions or control for all Sagittarians what is this all about it is about an end of a chapter unbelievable Sagittarius. Um, I feel like you are going to be united and working in team, collaborating well in the very near future, and you are going to reach your goal. There's a lot of money and a lot of profits coming from something you're doing. But at this point in time with the devil, this controlling situation, this bondage, this um, restriction that you didn't have your freedom, this is you are going to be freed from this by the ending of something. Something ends. A chapter of your life, very severe, strong chapter comes to an end, and this ending could be also a passing of someone. For some of you, it could be the passing of 
someone of fire energy like Sagittarius like yourself Leo Aries um, I feel like there is an ending of some sort that is going to free you only this ending is coming uh, is going to be the cause of you being free it could be that after this you are going to be working in a team collaborating with others uh, making money and profits together in a project that is going to um, skyrocket and bring you a lot of profit it is to do with people working with people and it could be the beginning of that project that I talked about that's going to bring you abundance there is the um, the new project and the beginning of prosperity. This is where prosperity is going to be pouring in with a three of pentacles. A lot of money is coming in. In some cases, in some rare cases, it is also to do with the ending of someone that is connected to family. Sometimes it, that is to do with family and this person could be could have fire energy within them. And again, at the bottom of this, as you can see, is the devil. So we're talking about... You know, something very restrictive, something that is overwhelming you, but it is coming to an end and you're healing from this completely. One more challenge. Do you see that? It's one more. I'll take I won't I won't take it out because um, we've talked about it. One more challenge and you're reaching there. You are going to end a cycle. Like I said, and every time after ending a cycle that's been suffocating you, there are going to be incredible rewards. I'm going to leave them in because they might come. These cards will when I'm asking about other things. So that's very important. Let's have a look now at the Four of Swords and see what is this time out. Fire energy. Wow. This is someone who's going to be very supportive and you are reaching your goal, my dear Sagittarius. This is you also, Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. Or it could be someone very, very supportive by your side. They might have fire energy. But it is about taking care of yourself, paying attention to yourself. The Four of Swords for all Sagittarians, the truth. Yes, it shows there is a new beginning and you are going to be empowered by the magician to heal and to be able to move the way you want. There, there will be the grieving of someone, the grieving of something or someone. You might be grieving the loss of someone. That's why you're taking time out. There could be somebody passing. Somebody could be passing or it could be um, leaving someone or passing. Someone from your past or your childhood or family. Um, I feel like... There's a new beginning that's going to give you a lot of realizations and a lot of epiphanies and a great victory destined for you at the time where you're taking time out and really thinking things through. Um, what you don't also see here is um, that you are going to be empowered by the magician. The magician is going to give you the power, the glory to be able to overcome all and maneuver your way and have things fall into your lap the way you want them. So things are going to be moving um, tremendously well for you. Let's have a look at... I want to know about this proposal. Let's see about the proposal that's coming. And then I'll do the um, the Nine of Wands. So the proposal, what is this all about for all Sagittarians? Okay, for some of you, it could be um, a matter of love, that you could be given the greatest love of all. You do have choices. For some of you, you have to pay attention to detail um, when it comes to money. Uh, but I see this proposal is to do with uh, the greatest gift of all that's going to give you emotional fulfillment in many areas of your life. And for some of you, it could be an emotional situation where you you might be meeting someone wonderful and falling in love. But you've got to be very careful because you might be in the midst of choices and you need to analyze all choices. These are opportunities of emotional fulfillment, but you've got to be paying attention to everything being said to see what is hidden and what is not clear for you you have to have clarity very important um in regard to i'll just put this here in regard to this proposal so if there's a proposal of love you really need to look into it and be sure that this person is genuine and remember um we've got your wish coming true for those of you who want love you are going to get love without a doubt for those of you who need money you are going to get money for those of you who need a new career you're getting your wish granted this is the greatest gift from the universe with your wish coming true you just can't go wrong this is magnificent okay so i'll just put this here and pegasus giving you elevation um transcending you from where you are it's just magical transcending you to a place where it's going to give you emotional fulfillment it's just incredible okay so now we come to uh this nine of wands and see what is this challenge one challenge and um this challenge uh, and you once you overcome this challenge it'll be all over the truth for all sagittarians three money work career related yes there it is remember the cards i said i want I won't take them, I said, they're going to come by themselves. Once um, you end a chapter, a chapter that's been suffocating you completely comes to an absolute end, you are going to get the greatest rewards waiting for you. 
a victory, a great victory, rewards, recognition, applause for a job well done from your community, your loved ones, your people, your work, but also from the divine they will give you the greatest victory and applaud you for a job well done and reward you big time um there is someone that could be helping you move forward from a situation you are going to reach a goal and earth energy is going to impact your life earth being virgo taurus capricorn i also feel like with the rewards here after this ending you are going to be rewarded um the greatest gift of all this is there too these are rewards coming to replenish four areas of your life and give you a rise you've got your wish coming and that's going to give you also the greatest victory and rewards um with with the rewards card so that is spectacular now um now that we've established that let's have a look at the ace of pentacles and see the energy that comes from this beginning of prosperity and this amazing project what is it for all sagittarians it's truth oh wow there's that card we were talking about now you've got to be very careful when you are dealing with money and this is the relocation one that came again and the victory very important we take them you've been sacrificing a lot and now it's time for you to get rewarded i'll take these out because we've got this double up here uh, the moving the relocating in regard to the ace of pentacles so you're moving with the greatest victory this is what you don't see coming uh right after this i'll talk about this first and then talk about this sort of in in you know in order okay so we've got the eight of pentacles money owing to you is coming a lot of money is coming but you've got to be very careful um, when you are signing documents and working with money and calculating so that you don't make any mistakes money is coming big time you need to know that just a little bit of caution when calculating because you are destined for a lot of money um, it could be coming from this project this money of course it's coming from this project um and I feel like this project, the beginning of it, is going to bring you abundance. Okay, so um, that's one thing about the money that's coming. And then we've got, the other card was, a, a situation that was quite controlling is coming to an absolute end. We talked about that ending. This, because of this, you are going to free yourself from um, an area of... Uh, where you were overwhelmed and doing too much that is going to be you are going to be free from that because of this new beginning so this new beginning is going to contribute towards you being released from something that was over overwhelming you it's coming to an absolute end something that was suffocating you is all ending because of this card because of this card you are able to start fresh and you are able to start new now the other factor is these were together the other factor is um that the rewards that are destined for you are there and also the victory you know how i said there's great victory rewards and victory well there is the card of victory coming coming your way the way you are going to overcome all obstacles and certainly overcome the one particular obstacle one more challenge you'll overcome it and you are going to become victorious triumph over it and be rewarded big time a lot of money is coming relocation is coming you're relocating moving to a better place to a more wonderful place and i'm going to of course work this out too you are relocating your life is changing you're moving to a much better place so let's have a look at this two of um, ones and see where and how are you relocating you are transcending to better levels so it is to do with a sacrifice something you've been sacrificing you are going to be rewarded for something where you've put your interest aside and doing for the sake of others it is that that is going to give you the greatest gift and you are going to be moving from that let's have a look at the two of wands for all sagittarians the truth so um it is all about the truth is abundance is coming and you are going to have your justice even though you'll be leaving okay and there is the rise in your money so i'll talk about all this in a moment first let's talk about this um the sacrifice you have been making for a long time in regard to a situation where you are moving from you're relocating from you are going to be given a lot of money a lot of money is coming your way that's why i say play the lotto or the lottery play small and play continuously this is the card of wealth and life changer this changes your life this is a life changing card also wealth and riches is destined for you legacies and generations of money now this is about a life that is a dream life where everybody wishes to have freedom from everything freedom from financial matters having money having wealth having riches having luxury living in luxury this is all coming for all, for all sagittarians this is what you're destined for that's what you're moving to you're moving somewhere spectacular you need to know that and what you don't see coming 
is justice is going to give you what is truthfully yours right after you leaving a situation you see this card here the eight of cups and there it is again so when you leave a situation with regrets it is at that time where justice is going to prevail and give you everything you deserve. And there's going to be a skyrocket rise, a dramatic rise in your money. One that's going to be so significant that's going to give you wealth and um, riches and um, really a lot of money for you to think about how to invest in what property and what to buy and what to do. I feel like there's going to be a lot of investment. I feel like you might be investing in a really... Um, wealthy place, a place where there might be acreage, a place where you might have a great house with a lot of um, land, a lot of you know land where you can grow your own vegetables. There is something spectacular like that. The Nine of Pentacles is a dream life and your money is rising big time. So um, justice is going to be in your favor and all for you. All this is happening within the next few months. You are transcending and this could be one of your wishes being granted. Remember that. The wish being granted is the best one here. There you go. You are transcending beyond where you are today. So if you can't relate to this now, just wait and see. Now let's have a look at these cards and see what's one more message for all Sagittarians. And there it is. Let's have a look. Glasses on. And it says rejuvenate, rejuvenating rain. That means you are beginning fresh. You are starting fresh. And it says clear the past heal the present you are going to be moving to a better place you're clearing the past you're letting go of all the things that were there all the karmic situations you're putting an end to them you're clearing all the past and you're healing the present right now so prepare for what is coming because it's going to be spectacular let's have a look at the the butterfly spirit oops we got one card just bear with me let just fall through here we go. And i got to get one more card. So we've got one card. And then one more card for all Sagittarians. And there it is. Before when I was doing it, it gave something else. Okay. Here we go. It says heaven signs. Watch for heavenly signs. They are going to show you what's going on. And how everything is trans... Trans... Uh, trans... What's the word? transforming and changing and there's an ending something that is really coming to an end something that you will grieve the loss of but you will have a victory at the same time look for the signs they're going to be there for you it says courage you do need strength and courage to go through this and the universe is going to provide you power the magician the magician is an utmost power the greatest power to help you to give you the courage and the power the strength to overcome uh, this great loss that you'll be going through extreme grieving and loss um, finally, we'll just get an animal spirit to see what else is there. And then I'll do the lucky numbers. The truth for all Sagittarians, money, work related. And there it is. And it says the koala spirit is all about you, the spirit has a plan for you. There's a beautiful plan waiting for you to happen. You are going to be transcending. 35 is the number of transcension. You are transcending to the greatest levels. And I feel like, to be quite honest with you, it is this wish that is giving you all this, um, all this elevation in your life. Being granted this wish, having it all, and the money that's coming, and the greatest gift of all, this is also contributing towards this. The greatest gift of all. And then, of course, the life of absolute luxury. This could be contributing towards that too also. The greatest life that is destined for you. That's going to give you emotional fulfillment in every area of your life. And this is a money reading. So remember, money is also the greatest gift of all for you. Wealth and riches. And don't forget, they have a plan for you. They are going to transcend you to levels beyond where you are now. That's what's happening. And that is the end of this reading. But let me just do the numbers for you very quickly. For Sagittarius, you can write them down. There they are, 25, 36, 47. You can pause it and um, write them down. These are your lucky numbers for January 2023. 25, 36, 47, 35, 15, 18, 26, 32, and 20. This is for you, Sagittarius. So I wish you abundance of joy, luck, the best of the best, um, blessings and everything that's coming your way and all the rewards that are destined for you and all the blessings. And with all that, I wish you a lot of um, love and light. Namaste.